Me before I take my espresso shot. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kinsey. If you guys are new here, I make lifestyle vlogs, lots of fitness, cooking, style, products, you name it. Subscribe, stick around. This weekend is a family weekend. Today is actually, I need to call him, my little brother's 18th birthday. Big deal. So it's gonna be a family weekend, a whole family ordeal, but not until later. We're heading to my parents' house, I think at like five. Oh, also guys, by the way, this set that I'm wearing right now, both top and bottom, $28 from Amazon. Hi, Seth. What's up? Um, I was gonna call. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Thanks, brother. I have just had, actually, let's sit down. Let's chat. This, this wasn't what I was looking for, but it's okay. Anyways, um, I was in LA this week because Dom had a huge Nike campaign. I actually don't think I've talked about it in the vlogs. Follow my Instagram and you guys can go see all the posts and like seeing, it was so great. And I just like feel whole again. Like I don't know how to describe it. That trip was just like everything I needed. Um, and it was just so cool. She literally was on a massive like three-fold billboard across from the Staples Center. And then at the Grove, all of her, the Nike at the Grove, which is like a huge store. She's also at the finish line in Times Square. I've already been expressing how the past few months have just been like so good. But I think especially just like the past like two days, like we were barely there, we just stopped it. So once in a lifetime opportunity, like couldn't miss it. It was just so so good. Like I am just right now in life probably the happiest I've ever been and in the best place I've ever been. I posted this on my Instagram story last night and I was just saying how like this time last year my life is so different and even though I have like pretty much all the same people in my life I think my relationships are the healthiest and the best they've ever been in every area. I feel so good. I feel like I'm probably the healthiest I've ever been even though I'm still kind of going through like putting a lot of pressure on myself and um I don't know. I'll eventually, like, when I work through this, probably, like, share more. Also, side note, Tower 28 sent a bunch of products, so I'm just gonna try them right now. I'm not gonna put makeup on. I'm getting brunch, but I literally was thinking, like, I am the luckiest girl in the entire world. I have the best people around me. Like, even from, like, literally my trainer to, like, my family, I just have, like, the best people around me, and I think, I just think back to, like, this time last year, one, when I thought I was happy and I wasn't, and also just like in the past year how much has changed and like the idea of i've talked about this like in the past few years i think ryan and I actually did a podcast on it but just the idea of things not going your way and how in the long run you'll be grateful for that and like i cannot even i don't even know how do i apply cream blush i don't know i'm gonna try a beauty blender but like something tells me that's not right you know but I don't know, I think I was just in a place where I was like, I don't know what I want to do with my life, and I'm still kind of in that place, and like just figuring things out and navigating, I think. There's just like a lot of things I think I'm figuring out, but I am like the most fulfilled, most content, most whole, happiest. I literally cried like, I think six times on that trip, like just happy tears, which like I don't really do. I don't know, it's just cool to see too, and like Dom and I have talked about this, I remember six months ago, we were like, we just need to make it through the next six months because I know that it's going to be so much better, and like I would never have imagined it would ever be this good. I say all this to say that if you were in a place like I've been the past like six months to the, like six months to a year ago, it gets better, like it will get better. Um, but I do think it's important to like navigate and process through at that time and go through what you need to go through essentially. But like now that I'm on the other end, I just feel like so good. I just like can't even express it. And like I feel like I don't say this enough. Like I love you guys so much. I love the community we have. Everyone that I've met through just making videos and podcasting and stuff, it's just so unreal. And like I hope that everyone has the people that I have in my life and your life. Like I have friends that I will be friends with for the rest of my life that I like, adore and would die for and vice versa and just the people I'm around. I don't know. I think sometimes it's, I think sometimes too, it's like sometimes you just have to like lose a few people or um, let go of some things or whatever it is. And I am just the happiest I've ever been. I'm the most fulfilled I've ever been. I'm the most content I've ever been. I'm the most at peace I've ever been. I can't say that I've always felt that way, especially in the past year, and I feel like you guys, I've let you in on like a lot of it, but not all of it, and it was just not my best time. I was not in the best space, and 
I am so much happier than I've ever been. So I just like keep saying the same thing over and over again. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm so grateful for my life. I'm so grateful for my job. I'm so excited. I want to do more vlog weeks too. I mean, it's cute, but like I don't know how to wear it. Oh, I like it though, but I, I don't think I put it on right, but I do like it. I feel like this is like perfect for like my summer look. You know what I mean? I'm gonna read my little brother's college essay that he sent me yesterday. Isn't that just so cute? Also, since we're at another family vlog and I know I'm gonna get the questions in the comments. My parents are divorced, both remarried. On one side, I have my dad, my stepdad. No, on one side, I have my dad, my stepmom, and three step siblings that are triplets. Seth is one of the triplets, okay? And he's in the vlog sometimes. On my mom's side, I have my mom, my stepdad, um, two step siblings now. Um, Alexis and Ryan, there's two Ryans too, that's why it's confusing. Then I have my older sister Alexis, I have a brother my age, and then um, Alexis is married and has Sophie, my niece. And then, as far as the Piper kids, it's me, Maddie, Cody. There we go. And then Alyssa is our cousin. I'm so sorry, did this just make it more confusing? I just, yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh, so good to see you, dude. Hi, Fitzy. Hi, they can't get into the groomer until Wednesday, so he's gonna look like this. Oh my gosh, you were so cute. Fitz, come here, boy. Come here. When you, his tongue is just, oh my god, he's so handsome. Okay, and we're off. My sister's about to pick me up, and we're heading home for the night, which will be fun. I know there's so much dog footage today because he sleeps with his, well, first off, he's getting groomed on Wednesday. He went crazy in the yard, but he sleeps with his paws crossed. It's so cute. Okay, guys, come on. We're going. Let's go. We're giving them a blanket. Why did I literally have Avril Lavigne waiting though? I was in your bed, almost dead, every night. But no, I will never be on again. I can do left to go grab something in the store, and Coconut is not having it. Pittsburgh <laughs> isn't either, but. Coconut just really like she was squirming like a fish. Oh my god. Okay, Coco's trying to get the costume because I got now. a vlog of Coco. Oh, oh you did just now? Yeah. Um, okay, she we have so many dogs food. in Maddie's really small car. My eye, there's something in my eye and it's just really Coco bothering me. looks like he's having the worst time of his life. And he is, he hates the car. Well, he loves Fitz though. They're yeah. best friends. Kobe is Maddie's dog. Anyways, we're on our way to our mom's house for our little brother's 18th birthday crazy. celebration, which is really crazy. It's just like my head can't go out the roof anymore. <laughs> Did he try? <laughs> yeah. He loves. He was really. He real loves the car. Both of them love the car. Kobe used to, and I think it's because I kept dropping it off at grandma's. No, do you want to know party. why I think it is? It's your driving. That's what it is. That dog is traumatized. I can relate, Kobe. I understand. I get it. You just you understand oh. that yeah, but you're driving it was, do that to someone. I felt so bad, but he already had his like trauma before that, so I don't know what it was from. How was how's your week been? What's the high and the low? Um, the high, I guess I was super busy at work, so you know, work's going good and the low, um Honestly, like I don't really think anything really bad happened to me this week. I'm interested to see what you come up with here. I'll come I'm up sure with you something. something. Don't yeah. worry, but okay. oh, oh, I mean, it's not vlog friendly. No, yeah. My high um, was seeing Dom on a billboard. Yeah, that was that, that was, was crazy. Dope. My low was my oh, my shoulder injury for sure. That was pretty bad. Why are you? Why did you give that face? Her shoulder injury was from shampooing. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what happened to me. It just hurts so bad. Like it literally hurts so. Bad. It still like doesn't feel good. It's like I would have felt we more bad for you for you, like hours. I would have felt more bad for you if you didn't call me and like if you were just like, oh my gosh, my my shoulder hurts. Like I don't know what happened, but you're like, I got out of the shower and like I, was, I literally <laughs> didn't know how it hurt. I can't describe it. Like yeah. No, also, I if I'm like actually sick. Okay, wait. If I'm actually sick or I'm actually in pain, like I won't tell you. Like if I'm finally like, okay, I'm sick. Like I walked around with no voice for how long. Like if I no, actually bad, feel, but yeah. I suck it up, right? And I don't say it. So like it has to get to the point where like I am in so much pain that I had to say something. And it was immediately that bad. <laughs> it was immediate. It was immediately Terrible. that bad. Maybe Mama. we should get Benny's bagels in the morning. Say less. I have, to, I have to. I have a client at two, so we need to what's, be back pretty early. What's the last song? Yeah, I have plans tomorrow. What's what should we do? I don't know, the last Should song is Gator Boy. You know, I was hoping you'd say that. Gator boy, she said, see you later, boy. He 
Maddie, it's not good. I'm so sad. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday morning. So excited because that means there's a new daylight workout. Seven, I, yesterday, guys, for some reason, I think I was just so tired from the past like, week, but I was just like so cozy and tired all day. So I literally worked from bed, which I pretty much never do. Um, wasn't my most productive Monday ever, but here we are. I need to put sunscreen on. Anyways, I woke up really early. I can't fall back to sleep because I just feel like I slept so much yesterday. Low screen, always. So I'm gonna take myself to La La Land and read there this morning. I don't have work stuff really until like 11. I just wanna say, like, I know I talk about Lux Unfiltered all the time for self-tanner, but I used these self-tanning drops on my face yesterday and it is just perfect. Like, it's so glowy. The lighting, like, doesn't really do it justice, but it's just really glowy and natural looking. My skin is definitely tanner in person than it is on camera, but I don't know. Just the best thing ever. If you guys need a good self-tanner, I'm telling you, that's the one. Who's ever had, like, such a good week and the week after, there's just, like, I don't know. Like, Saturday, I was so happy because I was just with, like, my favorite people in the entire world and I'm going to be with them again like so soon but I don't know I feel like after any sort of trip which obviously I haven't gone on a trip in forever um there's just kind of like a like a, a lag or something I don't really know anyways um life hack if you're having a weird time get up in the morning make yourself a coffee and go work out and suddenly you'll be cured so that's my plan for today I have a lot of work that I need to do. My sister's coming over later. I think we're just gonna hang out. I don't think I have like plans plans. Mom is coming back Thursday. Thank God, I literally would, I was dying. So that's gonna be great. Um, yeah. I'm going downstairs. Oh my gosh. Um, to go work out, me and the pups. They're literally so cute. Um, yeah, going to work out. It's very needed. I just spaced some keying for like an hour. Oh, oh my God, there's so many boxes. Dom has so many boxes. Mm -hmm. Um, I worked out and then I did two recordings. I'm going to go get my nails done because they are really bad right now. My nails done. I'm on FaceTime with Sav. <laughs> she went to get my nails done with me. This is what you do when you're long distance, but love them. They're totally a different color than the one I picked out. I think they just grabbed a different one, but honestly, like I'm fine with it. I also go to Starbucks. I have a meeting in 20 minutes with Dom. So I'm actually gonna get canes. Like I'm really just treating myself today. It's fine, we're fine. Sav and the vlog camera, you guys are right next to each other, make friends. Um, <laughs> no, I literally think these people are gonna kill me. I love skims here, Sav. Which, I don't wanna get skims. I just got shapewear from them. It's so good. You got what? Shapewear for the first time. Like shapewear. Oh, shapewear, okay. Cause I oh, always have not. like the cozy stuff. It's so good. No, I wanna get like the set like. Thank you, no thanks. How do you not like canes? Maddie doesn't either, and it makes me so oh, no, okay. All right, I'm off my calls. I'm honestly exhausted. I've been hanging out in my room so much more recently. Like, I should not be just on my laptop in my room. I, I know I should probably, like, have space, but just been really into it the past few weeks. Anyways, my sister's coming over. Not quite sure what we're gonna do. Guys, my sister just showed up to my house. And the dogs are going crazy, just like, yeah. don't mind me. Uh, my sister just showed up to my house and saw my white hydro flask getting, sitting here, which if you remember, I said I bought a new one because my other one, my original white hydro flask went missing. And she goes, I have a confession. <laughs> and somehow she has a white hydro flask that clearly was mine. And but now, now we have matching ones. No, but you don't, it's not matching. They're both mine. Well, no, no, no. It's just so annoying. It's literally all the time. Okay. Kobe's here too, and I mean, Fitz is just having the time of his life. Oh my gosh, it's just so insane. It is really something. Oh, Mayfair by the Uncomfortable. Model your sweats. She's totally ignoring me. Oh. Oh, whoa. Wow. So exciting. Hey guys, Maddie just left. I'm gonna show you the new Athena dress. I just made a TikTok for it. 
Um, I'm not, okay, so I'm not flashing you. This is like another outfit underneath. Um, I like the sports bra and shorts a lot. I got the shorts in a size medium. I would have gotten a size small just because they are a little bit big, but I normally get everything else in a medium, like the dress and the top. The sports bra in a medium. Okay, if you guys know anything about the exercise dress, that was like the biggest craze last summer. This is the Athena dress. I really like it. I don't know why there's a black mark right here that's bothering me. Um, this one doesn't have lining, but like when you wear this stuff under, it's really cute and it's like perfect for like this summer, especially if you're like going to play tennis or something. I'm fully a country club mom. Like I'm actually wearing this to drop the dogs off at the groomers and go grocery shopping. So like here we are. Yeah, I really like it. I don't know how I got this black mark here. I really couldn't be more of like a country club mom right now. Like it's, it's 9 a.m. Taking the dogs to the groomer. Look at what I'm wearing. That's the main thing. Um, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm gonna get my car inspected. Um, yeah, I mean, we just have a lot going on today. Running some errands this morning. I would not normally be wearing this dress. This dress takes like a specific mood in weather to wear, but for some reason I just left the house. It's so comfortable though. I will, like, it's just the most comfortable thing ever. Fitz and Coco need to be groomed so bad. Oh, uh, looks like something next to Leela's is opening. Um, I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru. I'm going to get a drink recommended to me by my fave, Emily June. Um, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> okay, um, John just sent me something stupid. Okay, so this is what she gets. Hi, can I just get a grande shaken espresso blonde with one pump sugar-free vanilla and oat milk? Oh, we all out. Oh, of oat milk? Yeah, we don't have any. Okay, can I just do coconut milk then? Our Starbucks has been out of oat milk. Are you guys having oat milk shortages? Let me know. I really feel like trying hard on my makeup today or just like trying something new. You know when you just wake up one morning and you're like, I could watch a Desi Perkins tutorial. That's kind of where I'm at. As Dawn comes back on Friday. Very exciting. Oh, I forgot to get egg bites. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I feel like my car inspected. That's like such a boring task. So before even getting it... <laughs> doing it i decided that i deserved starbucks so there's something in my eye i'm gonna give you guys a little grocery haul i have a facetime date with lauren i think like right now but it's fine okay bread this was like the smallest grocery haul i've done in forever proud of myself eggplant who knew that would be my new thing tomatoes pasta bananas oh the dogs look so cute by the way avocado oh wow that one's like Ruined, so that's great. Pineapple, chicken, pesto, mozzarella balls, everything with bagel seasoning, Emily June's fave, and uh, some tortellini. So that is what I have. Um, I need to get on FaceTime. I am just, today's like really an errands day. Bringing the wine glass out. I'm having quite the experience today. I have planned to five. I have work I should be doing. Here we go. By the way, loving this dress. Fill it up. Good morning. Fitz and I have been cuddling. I mean, he is just being so cute. Wow. Okay. Hi. I didn't vlog um, that much after my grocery haul yesterday. Hi! This week has just been a lot of like boring computer work and nothing really to vlog. I've been a big FaceTimer this week too, just chatting it up. Anyways, I have a workout at 10.15. It's literally like already almost, it's like 8.30, which is like pretty late for me. I like being up early, but honestly, I've just been so out of it. Like this is what I fell asleep in. Not even like pajamas. Very out of character, guys. I'm gonna charge my laptop. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna wear. Sav is getting back from school today. She's home for the weekend. So she's staying here tonight. I think I just poked my eye. Okay, it changed. I'm just wearing this sports bra from Fabletics that I really love. <gasps> hi! Hi! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Do you guys want to go on a walk? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Yes, you do. I can tell, Coco. I can tell. You guys are so cute. I got new Nespresso pods. These are recommended to me. They're all Starbucks. Columbia, Pike Roast. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 
Yep. Yep. I'm gonna do Columbia because Columbia is like always my favorite coffee. I might even do a little Instagram story. These are the things that are important to me today. I normally don't eat like breakfast, like a bigger breakfast before I work out. But my workout's at um, 10 15, which is kind of late. It's happening. It's happening. All right. This is what I'm. This is what I'm trying today. I just finalized our shoot this weekend, kind of, um, and sent over a bunch of emails. I'm gonna go work out. I actually kind of like doing a 10 a.m. workout because I get a bunch of stuff done, then I work out, then I get ready. I don't know. I'm gonna go work out. How many times can I say that? The dogs are losing their minds. <laughs> whatever outfit because I'm recording today so I need to be ready like top up but I'm also hopefully gonna get a spray tan I think I'm going to because we're shooting this weekend and Maddie and I are filming tomorrow and I haven't gotten one in like I mean definitely pre-covid obviously I think I've gotten one in like the past two years and I don't know why I just kind of felt like it this morning Nastia posted I don't know so I'm doing that I'm filling up my hydro flask the second one I purchased because of Maddie and I'm just gonna get to work today. I'm excited because Sav is gonna be home. I'm like in a way. Oh, maybe that's my spray tan. Yeah, we have a five. Do you want a five o'clock? Yeah, I'll do five. Okay, so that's happening. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm just in like a really good place with who is in my life right now. And here's the thing I was thinking about this when I phrased this earlier in the vlog. It's not that anyone new is in my life, it's just like I feel like my relationships have been like the healthiest and like the best they've been does that make sense speaking of actually okay so we know i love the emotionally healthy spirituality Debo. i'm almost done with it i got this one on relationships it's not like romantic relationships from what i read i don't really i just want like every relationship um so i'm excited i'm gonna do this one after anyways i'm getting to work i oh, i should have meal prepped my lunch all right guys i just finished recording with lil bosworth it was really fun um, she's reality TV star. I'm so, I'm sure you guys know who she is. Um, and owns Love Wellness. So we talked all about wellness. We talked PMDD. We talked fiber. Just like a bunch of, um, fun stuff. So that was good. Um, honestly guys, I'm just having like a really off few days. I know I started off this vlog being like, woo. I honestly like don't really know. I, a lot of the time if I have like a slower week, sometimes I'll get like this, but I also think it's like a hormonal thing. Sav is actually coming back tomorrow now. Um, I think my cousin's gonna come over. I have a spray tan appointment in like two hours. I still have work that I need to do, but I just feel like so out of it. Um, speaking of, if you guys have PMDD, um, it's premenstrual dysphoric disorder. It's not fun, like literally at all. Um, I'm gonna start like actually taking care of that and I think that that's my problem, but I'm just like not taking it seriously. By the way, I got McAllister's for lunch. Should have made food at home. I just like was not having it today. You guys can use my DoorDash link down below. Guys, look who's back on FaceTime. It's been all week, it really has. Also Sab, I haven't even shown you. Well, I think I already, wait, maybe I didn't vlog these. Oh, I think I forgot. Sab, you're in for a treat, but let me just vlog this. Guys, Kitty Bilotti's planning pads. She sent them to me this week. I haven't started this week because I've just been all over the place. Um, very beautiful, so exciting. I'm gonna start them next week because I got them midweek, but love. Okay, workday is over. I'm about to go get a spray tan. We'll see how this goes. We're going to the tan bar. I went there one other time before I went to Nashville, early 2020, and it was like my favorite spray tan I've ever gotten. Not that I've gotten like a ton in my life, but I will say it was the best one I've ever gotten, so. Okay. I don't even think you can tell. I'm way darker. So basically, you get the like airbrush tan, then you wait three hours to shower. You get like really dark. You shower it off. It looks like it's just completely gone, and then it develops overnight. So that is what's happening today. Um, I'm heading home. My cousin's coming over. I don't know what we're gonna do. Honestly, this week has just been such a weird week. I just can't believe it's almost Friday. Like, that's just like bizarre to me. All right, guys, I'm about to go shower off my tan. It's like three hours later. Hope you guys enjoyed this week of my vlog. Oh my gosh. Hope you, guys <coughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life vlog. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon.
Well, let's talk about that because here's the thing about over delivering, you know, usually, and you're, you're one of them, honestly, you know, Kenzie, it's like, we are highly capable women, like can get things done, but what you're lacking, if you're over delivering and over functioning sort of indiscriminately, what is lacking is the discernment of who is in your VIP section of your life. Because I want you to think about your VIP section as the people who there's mutuality, right? They, they go the extra mile for you too. So there should be an expectation that there's mutuality in your friendships and in your love relationships and in some family relationships and maybe not family. It depends on your family and how close you are and whatever, because there's nothing wrong, right? With being, giving things 